Hi there, and welcome to the C2 blog. My name is Kevin Stolmeyer, and I'm an Adobe Certified Instructor in Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign here at C2. Today I'm going to be walking you through the steps to create your own custom Twitter background using Photoshop. To start, we're going to launch Photoshop, and we're going to create a new document. Now, the settings that I found work best for Twitter are a width of 1500 pixels, a height of 800 pixels, and a resolution of 72 pixels per inch in RGB color mode. Now, this may seem a little elongated, but one of the things you have to keep in mind is with Twitter CSS, the page only scrolls on the horizontal scale. It does not scroll on the vertical scale except for the Twitter feed. And in essence, your picture remains static, so you have to make sure that it's long enough to accommodate the page. The other thing that you have to keep in mind is if you have any important information, say a company logo, your name, contact information, pictures that you want to keep from being covered up by this Twitter feed in the standard screen mode, you want to make sure that you're within 200 pixels of the left edge of your page. So what I've done here is I've pulled out a guide to 200 pixels and that allows me to have a live area to work with. Now. I'm just going to open up a design I did for my own personal Twitter page. And you can see I've got my guide set up here at 200 pixels. I've got my photo, my logo, and my name and information over here on the left. This is my protected information. So you can design anything you want in Photoshop as long as you keep in mind when you go to save out, Twitter only accepts three settings. And that is JPEG, PNG, or a GIF file. I'm going to save mine out as a JPEG file and when I go to the JPEG options dialog box the one thing that I want to pay particular attention to is my file size right here. Twitter can accept a maximum file size of 800k and right now I'm a little bit over that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my quality and I'm going to drop it down one setting so I'm going to go from 12 to 11 doesn't seem like a lot, but instantly I've dropped my file size to 532K. So that's well within the limits of Twitter. So I'm going to hit OK, save out my JPEG, and then head over to my browser. Now, inside of Twitter, you will have to log into your account, and under the Settings tab, you're going to go to Design. Now, once in the Design window, you can change your background image, your colors, or select a theme from Twitter. We're going to change our background image. And in here we're going to choose a file. So we're going to go to our desktop and find the file that we created. And then we're going to click Save Changes. Now when we click Save Changes it'll take about 30 seconds for this to load. And once it loads it'll give us a verification message at the top of our window. So here's my verification message your profile customization has been saved and everything looks good I've got my picture over here everything's well within the norms if I want to double check it I can go to my page and click home and go to Twitter and everything looks good as is so that's how you create a custom Twitter background using Photoshop be sure to check out our website c2gps.com and check out our blog 100 percent fresh you can also check our page for class updates, new events, and any kind of user group feeds you wish. If you want to follow me, my handle is kstoll. Thanks and looking forward to hearing from you on our next feed.